The matter in which the National Democratic Congress leader Chishimba Kambuili has asked Principal Resident Marjas David Sumsamba to recuse himself in a matter in which he is charged with forgery, uttering a false document and giving false information to a public officer in relation to the registration of Mamuna Engineering and Technical Services failed to take off in the Lusaka Magistrate Court as the court was not sitting. This is the fourth adjournment since Kambuli asked Marjas with Simusamba to recuse himself from presiding over the matter. In December 2019, Marjas with Simusamba found Kambuli with a case to answer and placed him on defense, but the accused has not commenced his defense since 4th December 2019, leading to several adjournments in the matter. This forced Marjas with Simusamba to warn that he would take appropriate action if the accused did not commence defense on 20th March 2020. And when the case was called on 20th March 2020 for opening of defense, Deputy Chief State Advocate Margaret Chitundu told the court that the state was ready to proceed, but Kambuli's lawyer, Musa Mwenye, state counsel, moved the court on application on behalf of Kambuli that Majesty Tsumsamba recuses himself from presiding over the matter. Mwenye made the application to transfer the case under Section 78 of Criminal Procedure, Code Chapter 88 of the Laws of Zambia, and Sections 51 and 62A of the Judicial Code of Conduct, number 13 of 1999. Kambuli in an affidavit of notice of motion for recusal stated that he had difficulties in defending himself before Majesty Tsumsamba because of the allegations made against him, believing that the presiding Majesty is now a potential witness or complainant in a potential criminal matter against him. In this matter, it is alleged in Count 1 that on 29th October 2013, with intent to defraud or deceive, Kambuli forged a document, namely, no change return companies from 71, purporting to show that it was genuinely signed by Mwamba Chishimba, his son. In the second count, it is alleged that on 29th October 2013, Kambuli knowingly and fraudulently did utter a false document, namely, no change return companies from 71 to an officer at Pakra. In the last count, Kambuli on the same date is alleged to have knowingly and fraudulently given false information to a public officer. However, the matter has since been adjourned to 5th May 2020 for ruling. Margaret Gemma Chota, Movie TV News in Lusaka.